Hey everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Mallory and this is Gus with me. And this video is about baby items you do not need to buy. If you're new here, my channel is all about uh, motherhood, pregnancy, babies, um, how to live a healthy life, and also a little bit of homesteading as a military family. So if any of those topics interest you, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. So let's just jump right into the topic of this video. Uh, I decided to do this video because I've seen that this is something that other moms like doing and putting their opinion out there on what items they think are unnecessary when you have a baby. And really, you know, the baby industry is so large, especially if you're a first time mom, and you're trying to figure out what things should you buy or should you put on your registry. Hopefully this video can help you out and give you some clarity on some things that might be unnecessary for you. Of course, everyone's gonna have slightly different opinions on this, so take that with a grain of salt, but here we go, here's my list. So the first item on my list are of baby items that you do not need are most baby containers. And what I mean by containers, I mean baby swings, bouncers, exercisers, jumpers, sit me up type of devices. Those things, in my opinion, are unnecessary. I have, I have a second child here. I got through my first baby without any of those things. I am getting along just fine with my second baby without any of those. I think they just take up a lot of room a lot of them are ugly now there are some cute like very chic ones on the market these days but a lot are ugly especially the cheaper ones all right the second unnecessary thing is a wipe warmer <laughs> is it a nice luxury to have i suppose and if somebody gifts it to you that's fine but i would not spend the money on a wipe warmer all right number three of things that are unnecessary is a bassinet for your stroller now in full transparency, this is one of the things that I would love to have if I had the extra cash, because I do think it's better for the baby to lie flat, like before the baby can sit up on his or her own. It's, it is better for him to be lying flat in like in a bassinet instead of, you know, kind of in one of those seats that's too big for them and whatnot. But, I am getting along just fine with a second baby without a bassinet. So if you can afford one, great. If you can't, don't feel like you're missing out on a ton. Um, like I said, it is something I would like to have, but you know, there's other things that we need to spend our money on first. So it is not necessary. All right, the fourth thing is electronic toys. Uh, especially for babies under the age of one. These are just totally unnecessary. And again, not the greatest for their development. A better choice would be to choose old fashioned toys like wooden or metal rattles, uh, black and white contrast books for them to look at, stuff like that, that they can learn how to entertain themselves. So I was very careful with Max to not um, that's my first child um, who's 21 months now. I was very careful with him to not let him have electronic toys and to, you know, not sit him in front of the TV or iPad or anything like that to entertain him. So also a lot of those toys that are electronic are very annoying and kind of get on your nerves and also are kind of ugly, you know, especially the more like plastic, bright colors, you know, they're just ugly and annoying. So that's another reason to not get them is because of that. But yeah, babies do not need to be entertained. They need to learn how to play and entertain themselves. Of course, you as a parent can entertain them, but I'm saying like, they don't need to be entertained by a screen or things that light up. And you know, to get all that stimulation, they just need a good old fashioned rattle and stuff like that. All right, the fifth thing that's unnecessary kind of goes along with number four is a baby gym. Now again, in full disclosure, I did just buy a baby gym for Gus, but I did not have one for Max, even though I kind of wanted one, it was on my registry, but nobody bought it for us. And I also didn't want to get one of those you know, really bright colored, ugly ones in my, you know, they're ugly in my opinion. Um, I did buy one that has a wooden frame, so it looks a little nicer, but 
it is not necessary, especially with your first child and you're able to get on the floor and there's no other little kids running around. Um, you know, and you're kind of afraid maybe that they'd bump the child or whatever. What I did with Max is I got this um, little mobile for him to look at and I just used my camera tripod to hang it on and I kind of put the tripod over him and let him look at the mobile. Now that really wouldn't work for Gus unless Max is sleeping because, you know, toddlers are very rambunctious and I would be afraid of Max knocking... Max. I would be afraid of Max knocking over the tripod and hurting Gus. So that's one reason why I decided to get a ba baby gym this time is because of that, but it's not necessary. All right, the sixth thing that you do not need for your baby is baby shoes. I know they're cute. I know they're super, super cute. I've been drawn in before at the store like, oh, it's so cute, but you don't need them. Babies are not walking, you know, typically before 10 months, babies don't walk. <laughs> Very rarely do they walk before 10 months. I know it's cute, but they're not necessary. Again, if somebody gives them to you, great, but you know, you don't want to be stuffing your baby's feet into shoes that maybe are too tight or whatnot, not good for their feet. Their feet just need to be free. You know, have socks on them if it's cold or their feet get cold, but otherwise they don't, they can just be barefoot and just be free and happy. Another thing along the same lines, I forgot to write this down, but I thought about it, is another piece of clothing that's unnecessary are baby mittens. So a lot of people, especially when a baby is a newborn, will put mittens on their baby so the baby doesn't scratch his face. Um, but I never found that necessary. And again, same thing like with the feet. I wanted his hands to be free and not be constrained like in a mitten or even in those things that fold over like all right i think this is number seven um another thing that you don't need are bottles and other bottle feeding accessories if you're exclusively breastfeeding and not doing any pumping and obviously if you're not using formula uh, you know, you might want to have bottles on hand just in case, you know, maybe you have a pump from your insurance company and you want to have bottles on hand just in case you need a pump or whatnot, but don't go out and buy bottles. Instead, get your bottle stash from those free baby registry bags that you get, like whenever you, you know, have a registry at a store and they give you a free goodie bag. I think I have like at least five bottles that I have gotten for free from baby registry bags. So don't go and buy bottles. And again, that's a good way to like try out bottles if you don't know which ones your baby would like. But if you're exclusively breastfeeding and you have no plans on pumping even, I wouldn't spend the money on buying bottles. Okay, number eight is the, of things that you don't need for your baby is special laundry laundry detergent for your baby. There are laundry detergents out there that are marketed specifically for babies. However, you can just use your normal laundry detergent that you use for your adult clothes as long as it's a fragrance-free, non-toxic laundry detergent. That's what I've done for both of our kids and it's worked out just fine. The clothes get clean. It's not like there's some special magic formula. You can just use a normal, you know, non-toxic, fragrance-free laundry detergent. And a lot of the times I just put everybody's clothes in at the same time and I get everything done at the same time. And that makes it way easier and you're not doing multiple loads and having to use multiple different detergents. All right, number nine of things that you don't need is a pack and play. Now, again, full disclosure, I do own a pack and play, but I did not have a pack and play until Max was almost a year old uh, when we were traveling and we needed one for staying in a hotel, um, which actually a lot of hotels actually do have pack and play so that even in that scenario, it might not be totally necessary, but we got along just fine without a pack and play. I do know that some people do use them instead of a bassinet. So in that case, you know, would be perfectly fine. Um, I am using a pack and play with Gus because I have a toddler and want to keep him safe from the toddler. But again, if you're a first time mom and you don't have other kids running around, you know, you can just either baby wear a lot or put your baby down in the bassinet or the crib or whatever 
and there's not really a need for a pack and play unless you're traveling a lot and you get some use out of it i think this is number 10. uh what's that? do you not like me talking you do not need an expensive diaper bag i know that's kind of all the rage right now are these super cute you know leather diaper bags they're really cute but you can get along just fine with a diaper bag that's like $30 or whatever, or even cheaper. There's some really nice looking ones out there that have a lot of compartments, very organized, but you don't need to spend a fortune on a diaper bag. Your baby isn't gonna care anyway. Number 11 of things you don't need are specific toys for the stroller. There's like stroller toys, They're like marketed specifically for that. Just give your baby a regular toy in the stroller. Don't need a special toy. Uh, number 12, uh, you do not eat, need eating utensils or a high chair for your baby up until they're six months old. Six months old is typically when babies um, start eating solids and until then you do not need to spend the money on a high chair and you do not need to spend money on utensils or plates or cups or sippy cups or anything like that. Just wait, especially if you're on a budget, you know, um, you can totally wait until they're five or six months old to buy eating stuff that has to do with eating solid food. And then finally, number 13, uh, I guess we're doing a baker's dozen list here. Uh, the final thing that you do not need is the outlet. Now I say this as somebody who uses the outlet, the outlet smart sock and really loves it. And to me, it's worth it. But if you're one of those people that you're looking at all this stuff, it's very expensive and you're like well is the outlet necessary <laughs> because it seems like everybody's using it i will say it is not necessary the reason i got it is because i was having a lot of anxiety regarding max's sleeping um, a lot of postpartum anxiety and i got it because i thought it might help and it did it did help with my anxiety and i am still using it i, I am using it with our second child gus um, i think i do feel more confident now with the ch second child but you know, if that's you and you're, and you are having a lot of anxiety over sleep, it can be helpful. But if you're not having that anxiety, it's totally not a necessity. I did do a video reviewing the outlet up here, like unboxing it. So if you want to go see that video, you can go check it out. But, um, yeah, I love it. I think it's totally worth it if you want to spend the money, but if you can't spend the money or you're just not interested, don't feel like you need to get it because it's definitely not a necessity. All right, and that is my list. Those are my 13 things that I think are not necessary to buy for a baby. Again, if you have unlimited funds, then, you know, whatever. <laughs> but if you're trying to do a budget or you're trying to not have a ton of baby stuff cluttering up your house, then here's a great list for you to to think about and go through and just see, you know, do I need a stroller bassinet? Do I need a bouncer? Um, do I need a baby gym? You know, especially those bigger items that do take up room. Just really think about it and see if it's really necessary for you because chances are um, it's not. So leave me in the comments down below. I'd really love to hear what other women out there think are not necessary for buying for your baby. I'm sure I missed some things or maybe there's some things that I use that I feel are necessary or super helpful that other moms think are not. So, you know, let me, let me know down in the comments below. What do you think is not necessary? What did I miss? So in the meantime, again, make sure to subscribe I think this guy is getting sleepy already again. He just took a really long nap. Um, but you know, the life of a baby, it's great. Let's interact in the comments, have a conversation, and in the meantime, take care, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.